So hey folks, I'm back with my 8 SC telescope. I brought this back to life after a very long time. So I have a surprise galaxy that I'm actually trying to take picture with. I will fail because I didn't put any reducer in the back. I'm going full focal length on this. It is uh, sitting with a guide scope, also a moonlight focuser in the back, as you can see, and also it is sitting with the uh, ZWO 294 one shot color camera. Uh, there is a filter slider, star is on a filter slider, the small one. I wanted to show you guys how to, how I check my collimation on this telescope before I start taking pictures. These are the collimation screws, if you are not familiar. So you need to take like a Phillips screwdriver and you need to look at one of the defocused star in your live camera and you need to make tiny adjustments. So I'll show you how to do that. I used to stay away from collimation thinking that it is very difficult, but over a period of time, I perfected at least the basics, which I wanted to share with you all. So all you have to do is have a defocused star, have it exposed in a software like SharpCap, probably around 800 milliseconds exposure time and keep the gain somewhere in the middle or low. Don't defocus the star all the way, only defocus tiny bit and then zoom into the star. Here is the collimation overlay software, which is a freeware. I can put a link in the description where you can download it from. It creates the collimation in circles. So you are trying to match the inner circle and the outer circle to the real live star. If one side is a bit bigger than the other side, all you have to do is adjust those collimation screws on your telescope. So one question that everybody asks is, so how do you know which side? Well, it's a bit of a trial and error, but generally the one that is the larger side is the screw or the other side. So when you are making a turn using your Phillips screwdriver, make only not a full turn, but a one tenth or a one twelfth of a turn. So it's an extremely minor adjustment, either in or out. So go back to the live view and see if the star is getting better or worse. And make sure you keep the star in the middle of your live view software. Also, make sure the overlay is there as well. Within two or three minutes, you should be able to figure out the screws as well as making it collimated perfectly within the circles. All you have to do is use a Bathenau mask, make sure you are going to focus it well and you are ready for the galaxy. I thought I never will be able to capture any pictures with the 8SC without using any focal reducer. Right now, I'm taking three to four minutes exposures with two by two binning. And PHD2 guiding is doing okay. And I think the tracking of the stars isn't too bad. And I'm able to actually capture a decent data of M100. So this is after three hours of exposure time, but if you like this video, please 
feel free to subscribe to my channel.